snowball support. Get a few good hooks and suddenly you have a few kills for your team and he's looking great. You have Talon again, give him a few kills. Nidalee can solo carry games yep. by just split pushing, so... May. Again, an EDG member in the early game gets away with a sliver of health. Eventually, AHQ is going to have to convert one of these kills or they're going to get countered. I don't know if we're going to see anything of a teleport here. No, it's no teleports coming in because the fight's actually on the teleport in the top lane. Another great arcane smash, but it was before the pounds. They start to execute and they will take him down. First blood for Nas. And the fire the fire 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 goes down and they're gonna try to put Garnet Devil in it actually he is supposed to be safe from it green team now trying to get the hook but he gets hooked by FCCM the cleanup in the bot lane coming in for EDG and clear love they can wait but they're not afraid to make plays if they have a chance to no definitely not and clear love here with the gang down in bottom lane because Nami was already taken so low from the fight before and he knew that AHQ was gonna stay at the tower and keep the pressure going Walks in, gets Whoa. the laser, Wisto is dead. That's oh, gonna hurt. Oh, nope. where's the Q? There's no pop. He got him. Whoa, yep. And he pulls the R. Being burned preemptively, which is so critical. It was just a perfect setup for a clear love gang. And that's why we said AHQ needs to be able to close out those kills or they're gonna start getting countered. Ooh. Could have a big play here on Garnet. They actually pull an FCZF. He's gonna take a few turret shots. No flash available because he gets silenced on that one. Oh, Garnet Devil a little too far out and somehow... We were talking about the Rengar builds a little bit earlier. He does start to stack up that flare. He's not gonna just sit on the Madrids for now. A lot of pressure towards this top lane. Nas throws down the ulti. He's gonna get Clear Love. Clear Love's got full stacks. Uses the ferocity. It looks like they're gonna be going in. That's the death mark going down. And Nas hits the floor. Oh, oh, Pride oh, oh. over the wall with Twisted Advance. An unfortunate event. And he goes down as well. So many players are running one yes. red crit rune. It's this incredibly widespread thing in jungle and at the AD carry position. And support. Zero. And support, yeah. Zero <laughs> on Janna. Runs 1% uh, crit. And I've been looking for their jungle crits today. Uh -huh. I've seen it once. One Six yeah. games, and it was on a blue buff. Oh, man. This could be some pain going into Nas. He does have the mark over his head. He goes down from the death mark on you. Fight towards Koro in the top lane now. It's not going to be any pressure from anyone here. These guys are the only teleporters, and they're going face to face. Looks like it's going to be an extended one with it the heals. the lantern. There he comes, oh, they finally no. close in. Jet, like you said before, EDG is always the one to close in first. Multiple members of EDG to show up. All right, let's see if Green T can make a play coming up here, looking for the hook. Looks like he's getting as close as he can. Koro on point with his side steps today, and he's just going to take that one to the backside. Donatello with the revenge. Miss hook, don't care, I'm just going to hit you with my ult. <laughs> EDG waiting. They know they're not hatching a ward on this one. Nas just on the other side. Whoa, he does get the alert system out. Nas gets hooked. He's going to get chewed up by Clear Love. And it looks like Prides tries to get back to lane. They do get a CCF. That's going to be a kill for Garnet Devil if he can finalize this one. Take not it, Green Tea. Take it. That's. Yep, the Ignite's gonna be coming out actually. Yes. Oh, it's Green Tees. West Door is in the fight. Nami gets out of this one alive. He can still be shooting from the outside, but he's way too low. Now goes the kill for Garnet Devil. They're gonna be fighting. Situation to put AHQ back in the game. Could be difficult. This dragon still getting hit up half health. He's gonna go back home and heal up. Green Tea could be looking for a hook from the side here, but he does not want the tree. Look at Westor here on the minimap. He's constantly staying at the mid lane. He wants to flank around EDG, trying to get on Tsunami in the background. Here's the fight! Locks down Prides, gets hit up very early. No more heals can come from him. They shut down a bit of the utility, but EDG is now looking to keep themselves alive. To the outside goes Clear Love, but he's back into the fight with the rest of the team. Great focus coming around from AHQ, but they just can Especially now that FCZF's exhaust is almost back off cooldown again. I mean, he used it so perfectly last fight face of the mountain as well for him, so you have the shield, you even have the lantern shield, and as you just mentioned, the exhaust, and why right in onto Westor, he does not have a chance to breathe on that one, FCZF looking to continue, Prides on to EDG, and it looks like you is going to stay alive on that one, Prides gets himself in out of the fight, as you back to the team with a dark passage, and they somehow, oh, oh, and yes, how do they continue these fights, beautifully done, Left and right, it's just AHQ trying to find a way out of these. Coral, who just ends up helping out with the initiation. At that point, EDG is just piling on everyone, collapsing and making a team fight. Although, that's a pick. Very nicely done. Something to make little... here. So, yeah, and again, it's also too early in the game to actually go for Baron here, even though you had, they managed to get a kill, and also it was just onto the support. So, EDG managed to get a kill. 
but can we do anything with it? Other than place a few wards. This is going to be tough if AHQ gets pushed back uh -oh. to their base. Oh my gosh, not even in the base right now, and it's going to be EDG that finds a pick for themselves. AHQ is where are the windows for us to beat EDG the next time they play? Because that's all they need if they want to be able to come out of this group. Slow pushes into that bottom lane now. Trying to get this down so EDG can get themselves a nice Baron attack. Oh my gosh, on to West Door. Oh, definitely gonna have to be a better lane matchup if they want that face off to go any better, Jack. This is going down way too in favor of EDG. A good pickup there. And it's a level of training. I mean, we even saw Dyrus pick up Rumble heading into the World Championships right. as well. These teams did have a lot of time to prepare. And here we go, fight for BDG. They get a nice catch. Nas locked up pretty much. He's forced to jump out of the fight. Everything happening in defense here for AHQ as they start to go down. EDG closing in, and the stranglehold now on down. They get clear love this time. He will be going down to the turret. They are forced out of their bases. EDG kind of takes their side. Trying to make sure clear love gets locked out and really peel for Garnet Devil here. What will they be able to do? It's looking pretty grim. And they need ulti ready uh, for clear love first. I mean, we've seen two being used already. Only managed to get some pink wards. Couldn't actually get onto anyone else from AHQ. And because there's no cooldown reduction for clear love, it does take a while for him to get ulti ready. Now it's up, and they're going for it. The teleport coming in from Koro, and he gets right onto Garnet Devil. That's going to be a lockdown from you, and they just surprise AHQ by showing up behind him and starting the party. Just a devastating fight. Home guard teleports. That's one way of getting in behind the team. They had the war control. HQ is trying to control the Baron, and they got wrecked. Over the wall we go. Clear Love says, hang on, I'm going to try. Make sure nobody else comes from this side. I'm looking for West Door. West We're West looking Door for Nas right now. 1v5. Yeah, it's like they get him. West Door okay, goes in a little early. Yeah. Nas on the other side. Is he going to try to do much? It looks like he's just going to hang out on the red buff for now. No vision to see. Again, you have Exhaust here. You have the Lantern Shield as well. You have Face of the Mountain. It is so hard for West Door to actually find a target. They're all <laughs> trying. <laughs> Everyone on HQ is trying their own. And that's something that we came up with when we were watching Koro, when we, you know, did our research, is that great comms and his synergy in team fights is ridiculous. He said, guys, I'm coming in, and I'm going to be right behind them. I love the synergy in EDT's item builds right now as well. Triple right. Randwin's Omen against the full physical team. Also, triple Ghost Blade, because they want to take down those targets. I love you so much, Green Team. To fight it. This is the time. Just try and go for it. Hope the Zed can do anything in the fight. In the end, though, EDG managed to disengage, the ulti is ready fairly soon, and then it's up to them to go for the kills. Green T does have his flash up. I'm ready for the hook. Just waiting for it to come in. I mean, you, what are you going to hook him into? Your inhibitor? The inhibitor's not going to help. Prize gets caught. Gotta try something. The next to the Nexus turrets now. He does get Koro, though. Not the one he wanted, and it looks like they're going to be able to get through inhibitor. That is you all the way to the back line on the Garnet Devil! And he does get the E hit as well to add the extra damage. Cancels him out, and it looks like it's going to be the Nexus for EDG. When it's all told, even though they weren't able to siege that well, it's still just 36 minutes. They definitely got a whole bunch of kills, and they close out AHQ. 28 to 10, 36 minutes into the game. A beautiful game for Clear Love on Rengar. And it's going to be EDG.